diseases of jasmine so now we'll see the list of important diseases in jasmine so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in jasmine cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora jasmine cola alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria alternata and alternaria jasmini and wilt which is caused by fusarium solani collar rot or root rot which is caused by sclerotion rolfsi rust which is caused by uromyces uh, absoni bacterial leaf spot xanthomonas jasmini phyllodi which is a phytoplasmal disease caused by phytoplasma species so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is the leaf spot so which is caused by alternaria jasmine cola imagine it is a leaf of uh, jasmine so here uh, small gray spots initially small gray to brown color spots initially appears on leaves in later stages the small spots will uh, produce short hole, short hole symptoms i'm sorry short hole symptoms so here we can see small uh, gray spots we can see here not only here you can see small grayish dark brown spots can be seen initially on leaves in later stages what will happen it produce a short hole symptom so it is caused by cercospora jasminicola so coming to uh, management uh, mancozib or zinab at the rate of 0.25 percent twice at four night intervals can manage this disease Alternaria leaf spot or alternaria leaf blight, which is caused by alternaria alternata and alternaria jasmini. So here, uh, you know, and uh, you know, in, in previous classes, in many uh, lectures, we had already discussed that the most prominent and common symptom of alternaria leaf spot is concentric rings. In here also, we can see concentric rings. We can see here. Initially, the small concentric rings can be seen here on leaves. In later stages, what will happen? They are coil edges, and the entire leaf will, you know, look like a, a, you know, a brown color discoloration that covers the entire large leaf. So here, uh, when it comes to the leaf blight, initially dark brown spots can appear as usual uh, in all kind of, you know, leaf spots. Dark brown spots can appear and enlarges. Uh, in size and it covers the entire leaf and as well as as i said you that you know concentric rings is the prominent symptom that can be observed and when it comes to leaf spot here the tip of leaves produced towards petiole here the tip of leaves produced towards petiole and here also we can see uh, uh, you know uh, short holes sorry uh, uh, you know concentric rings along with uh, uh, in comes to leaf spot irregular brown lesions separated from the healthy tissue which is a dark color bands so here uh, when it comes to the leaf spot from healthy leaves it gets separated and produces a dark color bands very dark color bands can be produced so coming to management uh, collection and removal of fallen leaves and uh, spraying with uh, copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25% or spraying of mancozib can manage the disease so coming to the next one wilt so which is caused by fusarium solani so here uh, wilting and topping uh, you know top of the leaves can be wilted here in top of the leaves and yellowing we can see here topping uh, you know in the top of the leaves are getting wilted and the yellowing of leaves initially uh, uh, you know uh, green color leaves slowly turns into pale brown color or you know pale green color and then yellow in later stages it will convert into yellow in color and we know very well and later stages what will happen drooping of leaves and uh, death of uh, uh, plant pots can occur and here also black and uh, turning of uh, uh, plant parts into black in color and death of plant also occurs in later stages uh, spraying of point soil drenching of 0.1 percent bodo mixture or 0.1 percent carbonism can manage this disease uh, next one is the rust which is caused by uromyces hobsoni here if you see you know very well that rust can produce uh, uh, pustules small pustules can appear on the upper surface as well as lower surface also so if you see imagine it is a you know uh, it is a leaf here we can leaves are there from uh, uh, you know also all where right uh, everywhere leaves are there right so here when it comes to the uh, rust of uh, uh, jasmines so the symptoms appears on the both surfaces as well as the upper surface and uh, as well as the lower surface and yellowing of leaves also can be seen when it comes to uh, you know uh, leaves on the both surfaces leaves on the uh, you know uh, lower surfaces leaves on the lower surface more pustules are there when compared to leaves on the upper surfaces so the, when it comes to pustules lower surface has more pustules compared to upper surface so this is one of the prominent symptom and you know stems and branches also get affected in later stages and subsequently death of plant will occur in uh, uh, time uh, in weights so sulfur dusting at the rate of 22 
20 to 25 kilograms per hectare or you know uh, spraying of tridom or 0.1 percent can be recommended bacterial leaf spot which is caused by xanthomonas xanthomonas jasmine so here uh, when it comes to uh, the bacterial leaf spot small water soaked lesions appear, appears on the upper surface here uh, not lower surface upper surface small water soaked lesions in later stages this size will be uh, enlarged and increased and yellowing of uh, leaves also can be observed in later stages initially water soaked lesions or brown color water soaked lesions or light brown to black color water soaked lesions on the upper surface and the later stages leaves slowly converted into yellow in color not completely yellow in color light you know uh, you know green yellow in color uh, yellowish green yes yellowish green in color and you know on severe stages said come defoliation and death of plants will occur so removal of infected plants and applying of some kind of you know antibi antibacterial antibiotics can be recommended so here phyllodi uh, which is caused by pytoplasmal disease we know very well that uh, the most prominent symptoms of uh, phyllodi is uh, a malformation of leaves or shrinking of leaves for uh, you know in scientific way we can call it as uh, the entire leaves are converted into green leaf like a structure very small leaves and if you see uh, you know uh, in a scientific way the size of the leaf is uh, greatly reduced and you know um, uh, all the leaves are converted or shrink into a green leaf like structure and a bushy like structure that is uh, one of the important one so these are all the symptoms of phyllody and coming to uh, so this phytoplasmal disease are transmitted by uh, insect here may uh, this is transmitted by white fly and grafting else is one of the measure to transmit uh, this disease here it is mainly transmitted by white fly that is uh, dalirodus uh, kirkaldi coming to the management aspects uh, so controlling of factor by applying of uh, systemic fungicides and cuttings also because it is also transmitted by grafting right so uh, 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 cuttings should be a disease free plants and applying of uh, tetracycline can also reduce the severity of this disease so coming to the questions we may expect uh, castle organisms and uh, uh, that's it about uh, that's all about jasmine and uh, uh, a vision into plant pathology this was a book which was uh, published by myself uh, recently so this book will be very useful for uh, all kinds of uh, plant pathology students interested one may to take a look into